Good afternoon. My name is Felicia, and I was born and raised in South Minneapolis, but spent my summers in the South with my grandparents. We're going to take a trip back to shoes. <laughs> All my people left that I was going to talk to. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just saying. So now I'm going to talk to you all instead. I was going to talk to the contingent right here, but they, they left me. I, oh, I've got some right here. Okay. All right. So I am a child that likes to dress up. I remember being six or seven and going into my parents' bedroom into the closet, and that closet was filled with shoes. My mom's shoes, not my dad's shoes. My mom's shoes. And I remember sitting on the floor and looking at all the shoes. And there was one pair that always caught my eye. It's a pair of high-heeled yellow candies. I'm dating myself. <laughs> <laughs> I would put those shoes on, and I would clomp around the house on our wooden floors. Anybody else ever do that? Mm -hmm. yeah. And my mom was OK with that. I'm sure it drove her nuts, right, hearing that noise. I would do the same thing at my grandparents' house. But my grandma had a closet that was filled with my mom's old party dresses when she was in high school. And when she introduced me to that closet, every summer when I would go stay with them, that's right where I would head. I would head into that closet, take out all the dresses, go lay them in the bed, and then just figure out which one I was going to try on. I was always drawn to the light blue tulle dress with the ribbon around the waist. And I was little. I was probably 10. So I'd put it on, and I'd have to hold it, the tool scratching under my arms. And I would twirl around in it like that, right? And then I'd go to her closet and get her shoes and put on those heels and wait for the day that I could actually wear all this stuff and it would fit properly. <laughs> Unfortunately, that day never came. I just imagined myself wearing the dress and the shoes. Oh, and the jewelry. I forgot the jewelry. Grandma had a dresser in her bedroom with lots of drawers. It had a glass top. And underneath, it had the four-leaf clovers that she could always find in the yard that I never could, that she would press under there. But she'd let me play in her jewelry. Oh, there was also lots of perfume bottles on that glass top. So I'd open the drawers, and I'd touch the pearls and the chains, put on the earrings and the bracelets. As every Southern woman knows, more is better, <laughs> right? <laughs> and I would put all that on and, again, dream for the day that I could wear all of those things. Unfortunately, I'm bigger than my mother, and I never got the chance to actually wear that dress to a party. Uh, but it, it sticks in my memory. When I was probably about 15, I remember spending that summer at my grandparents again. And my grandmother let me go back into her bedroom again and go through all of the drawers and the boxes. And as a child of the 80s, some of you will know what I'm talking about. Everything was big, right? Big hair. Big shirts over leggings, stirrup pants. Anybody remember those? Yes. Well, any girl worth her salt in 1985 had a brooch <laughs> that she wore right here, closing her collar, right? So anybody remember Claire's or the icing, right? A lot of blingy things in there. But this was the best. My grandma said I could pick any brooch that I wanted to bring home that summer. And I took my time. And this one caught my eye. And when I got back that fall and put on that white button down over black leggings, this is the brooch that I used to close my blouse. And I have to say, Knowing that this came from her was better than anything I could have ever gotten at Claire's or the icing. <laughs> and this reminds me of my grandmother's love when I wear it now. And yeah, I have to say, gives me a little bit more swagger when I wear it. 